Hello Aquarius, welcome to the Whistling Hermit YouTube channel. Today we're going to do a sacred circle for you. Now the sacred circle is also called the medicine wheel. It's uh, the sacred circle we're going to do right now consists of seven tarot spreads put together. And uh, it's very interesting how all these seven tarot spreads uh, sort of like uh, coincide with each other in order to present us a certain message. Now the sacred circle also allows us to maintain good health and also promote healing in all the aspects of our person, mind, heart, body, and spirit. You can watch the sacred circle in one, in one go, or you can go back to it uh, by piecemeal. Like for example, one uh, tarot spread per day until you finish seven days. So this is also a good material for personal retreat. And because this is timeless, you can always come back to it and use it. The other sacred rules also for the other zodiac signs can also be used by you if they resonate with you also. So let us now start by first getting the main energy. And we will put that main energy in the center as the as a one tarot spread okay so the main energy right now is the lovers wow okay for those of you who are happily single and at this time their journey is being single the lovers can symbolize a, a holistic transformation in your part okay so it's like the masculine and feminine side of you studs are sort of like becoming one uh, there is a certain uh, coming together of the extremes in your personality. So also the light and the dark side, everything, you start to come together. Every aspects of your being starts to come together and are united with each other. And this happens when a person undergoes transformation. So for some of you, you are undergo undergoing right now a transformation. And you, as you see, the lady is looking at the angel and and the divine usually when you start to undergo transformation you start to become more aware of the guidance that the universe is giving you the divine and the the spirit guides you see here she's not uh, there is a snake behind her on the tree but she's not giving attention to the snake because she is preoccupied with the presence of the divine and her spirit guides in her life so in a certain sense also it makes you stronger it makes you choose light from the darkness. Uh, it's like uh, you are being enlightened. That's why they have this term of being enlightened when a person undergoes transformation. They are becoming enlightened. I feel it is because you prefer the presence of the divine, which is usually symbolized by the sun and is usually symbolized by the light. So when the light is in your life, yeah, you you no longer you are drawn more to, towards the light so I, I feel this is what is happening on many of you right now now for those of you who uh, are considering having a partner in life well somebody might be coming your way right now if you are the masculine energy then this person who's coming your life in, into your life right now is very intuitive and very much in touch with the divine if it is the masculine part, well, this masculine energy who is drawn to you, he is drawn to your uh, aura or drawn to your appeal. He finds you very attractive and finds you very appealing if you are the feminine energy because he could see your deep relationship with the divine. But I feel that whatever this relationship is, because one of you is already drawn to the divine, there is a high probability that your relationship will be blessed by the presence of the divine. And it's so beautiful because usually uh, stability is usually symbolized by trinity, the presence of three aspects. Like for example, a triangle is stable when there is an equal sharing of the three points. No, So they say it, an isosceles triangle, I think, I'm not sure. Uh, or an equilateral triangle. So if it's an equilateral triangle, it's very, very, a very stable triangle. And even you, if you turn the triangle, it will always be equal, no? It will always be stable. So in a certain sense, it's like that also. A relationship between two people blessed by the presence of the divine is much more stable than just between the two of you. So 
I, I feel if it is a loving relationship, it is presently blessed by the divine. So you just try to see where you resonate with. Okay, so this is what is I, what I can see in the main energy. You have a lot of potential, the two of you, because the mountain is barren and it is as if your role is to fill up everything around you with the grace that is overflowing because of the presence of the divine. So somehow it's like you're filling up the world with love. Okay, it's like a song. There's a song, fill the world with love. Okay, well, if you like that song or you heard that song, uh, maybe this card is f this reading is for you okay now we finished the first part let us now go to the second part which is the four elements okay Aquarius we are now on the second part which is the four element spread okay so we will try to see now the four elements are earth air fire and water okay Okay, so this is for the earth, this is for the air, fire, and water. The earth is what is happening in your physical realm. It can be related to your health, can be related to what is physically happening, phys your present situation. It can be related to your career. Now, the second one, the air, it represents what is happening in your mind. The third one, the fire, is related to your inner world, the spirit part, the spiritual part of your life. And then finally here, we have the uh, water element, and the water represents relationships. Okay, so when I look at it, no, something have closed in your relationship, and it's causing you pain. It's a painful closing. For some of you, maybe a loved one has passed away recently, recently, and uh, you are in sorrowing right now as a family. So uh, it can be that a member of your family has passed away at this time. So this is a little bit more specific. So um, just take it if it resonates with you. And. Uh, for those whose member of the family has passed away, you know, it is causing you a lot of pain right now. Uh, but the sun is beginning to rise. It's going to take some time. Um, I also recently lost my father you know, and uh, it has caused me pain. And now it's already two years and yet still I haven't completely recovered from the loss. I understand that the feeling. So for, for those of you who at this time are watching this time and you have lost a member of your family, uh, it can be the head of the family. There is sorrowing right now in the family, but I feel that you find strength in supporting each other at this time. Okay. So, um, so at the external, uh, at this time, for some of you, the specific one is that... Uh, yeah, some of you are still sorrowing right now. But in a certain sense, this loss has brought the family much together. You see, swords are being taken away. So what happens is that whatever this loss has, that this loss has uh, or somehow removed the conflict between the members of the family. You see here, swords are being taken away. So if before there was a conflict, the swords are being taken away right now. It's bringing family members closer to each other. Swords are being buried. So conflicts, so when it comes to the mind, no, the conflicts are being buried right now. You see even here, the swords are already being buried. No. Uh, it was a painful closing of the chapter, but the chapter has closed you know, and it's time for the members of the family to bury whatever conflict there was and to feel the presence of the divine right now. You see here, the divine is consoling you also. 
for some of you, especially those who maybe it can be your energy, you are very intuitive and you could feel the, the support and the presence of the divine. When you see here, even the night is traveling, um, yeah, not in a hurry. He is more in a contemplative move, mode right now. So uh, for some of you who have lost a member of the family, I uh, my condolences, but at the same time, it is bringing you all together and it's bringing you closer to the divine. So you see here, conflicts are being taken away. You are starting to console each other. Uh, whatever conflict there was, it, swords are already being brought down and it's bringing it, the situation is bringing all of you closer. And it's also bringing you closer to the presence of the divine. Okay, so this is one, one side of the energy that we could feel. So I feel that when you look at the main energy, the presence of the divine is very much felt. And it can be that the lovers can symbolize the coming together of the members of the family because of this loss. So it can be also like that because the lovers is two energies coming together. It can symbolize the members of the family being drawn together, conflicts being set aside, and the whole family becomes more aware of the presence of the divine in their life. Okay, so this is one energy that we could see. Okay, for those of you who are undergoing transformation right now, wherein you are starting to have this uh, coming together of all the, the extremes of your personality and you are going to the middle already in your personal spiritual development, now this symbolizes that you are learning to nurture your inner child, okay? And this one can symbolize that you are becoming wiser as a person because you realize the, can say the uh, what do you say, this are the futility, okay? You are starting to realize the futility of conflicts. And so you're taking away all the swords, no? So as you mature, you realize that it's easier, uh, the best route is always charity, always dialogue, always listening to each other. It's easier to extend a helping hand than to resort to conflicts. So somehow here, if you are undergoing spiritual transformation, uh, you are learning to nurture your inner child and you are maturing to the point that you are able to reach out with a, uh, you are able to prefer uh, dialogue rather than conflicts. So you are removing also conflicts right now. So in a certain sense, you are maturing now. You prefer to reach out in charity rather than conflicts. No? So this is one thing that is happening and you are becoming more intuitive when it comes to the fire within. So the transformation is evolving right now and chapters are closing right now. So some relationships are closing right now because you realize <clears throat> that they no longer help you in your spiritual transformation. And at the same time, as you undergo spiritual transformation, those who couldn't also cross over, uh, they, those who couldn't understand the changes that are happening in you are slowly walking away. And so sometimes also as you undergo this transformation, there might be moments when you will start to feel lonely, but do not worry. The universe will send you people, will send you people who will understand you, those who are also close to the divine. It's, as, it's like, you know, here this masculine energy is drawn to this feminine energy that is very intuitive and very much in touch with the divine. It will draw other energies also who are in the same direction as you are. And sooner or later, you will no longer feel alone. It's just that sometimes as you undergo the transformation, those who couldn't understand you will sometimes walk away. But it's only a temporary thing. The sun will again rise. So this is what we can see right now. Now for some of you who are, uh, yeah, whether you are going to have a new relationship or you're going to undergo transformation, this is what I can see right now with the four elements. So these are the two possibilities I can see. A loss of a loved one and a person who is undergoing transformation. Now let us go to the third 
stage, which is the four directions. Okay, Aquarius, we are now on the third stage, which is the four directions tarot spread. Okay. Okay, so usually in the four directions when it comes to the sacred will, they start with the east. So we will start with the east, which is here. And then we start, we go to the south. Immediately you can see the lovers again showed itself. Okay, and then we go to the south, the west, and the north. Okay, the east represents a new chapter opening. Okay, so this is a proximate future. The South represents a, a recent past, something that has just closed, the setting of the sun, the rising of the sun. The South represents uh, what is happening in your physical reality, and the North represents what is happening in your spiritual realm. Okay, so if it is you undergoing spiritual transformation, which is in corollary with what we have seen at the start, you no. Know, in the recent past, you have received, I feel you have received some clear gifts you know, from the divine. Because the queen of wands is somebody who is not afraid to be different because she's very intuitive. She's very much in touch with the divine. So she's not affected by external things. You know? So she's not afraid to, to be different from the conventional practices. You no, know? she's not afraid to do things that are different from what other people usually accept. Why? Because she's very much in touch with the divine and she realizes she has a different priority. Like for example, if her priority is inner life, like here, there are a lot of sunflowers. No? Sunflowers represents no, uh, a person who is constantly aware of God's presence throughout the day because the sunflower follows the sun and the sun so wherever the sun, she follows the course of the sun. So it's like being aware, constantly aware of the presence of the divine in your daily life. No. So she's very intuitive. In fact, you can see here a black cat which symbolizes, can symbolize the spirit animals that constantly accompany her. And she's happily interacting with it because the, the, you see here, the animal is very much close to the queen that even if the queen is in the throne the animal is still there unlike the other the other queens no they they usually are the throne is usually clean no but for her her pet is there so she's very much in touch with the spirit guides so in a certain sense this is a very intuitive person so i feel that in the recent past you have received the clear gifts you are very intuitive right now and now as the chapter opens you are having this wholeness right now so you have attained a certain wholeness, which is the main energy right now. So because of this receiving of the gift, uh, you, is, you are now going towards the process of wholeness and you are being directed by your spirit animals, your, your spirit guides and the divine. You are undergoing instructions from them. As you see this lady, she's looking into the sky. It's like listening to the instructions being given to her. Now. What is happen presently happening in the present moment? Help is coming. So it's as if the universe is coming there and helping you right now because this is a very important stage in your spiritual journey, sp important stage in your life's journey. And you need all the assistance that you can get. So help is coming. Help is coming not only, I feel, not only in the spiritual realm, but I think also in the physical realm. The divine is sending people who will help you in your present transformation, your present journey. And I feel that in the near future, and what is happening here, you see here, uh, there are a lot of pentacles. You are receiving a lot of gifts. Uh, your inner world is flourishing at this present time. And when you look at him, he is contemplating on all the gifts. So it's, it's like saying, what? how can I use these gifts? It's like that. It's, 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 it, you see, okay, there are a lot of, of vegetables already that came out from the the plants that I that I took care of. Uh, there's so many, what should I do? <laughs> so it's like something like that. So you are right now uh, trying to find out. No, so, so many gifts, you are receiving so many gifts from the divine. And so you are wondering what to do. 
but that's why help is coming right now they are going to teach you how to maximize the gifts that you have received from the divine okay for those of you who have lost a special someone i think this loss has led you to undergo this spiritual transformation this process of spiritual transformation finally it made you realize that what are really the important things in life no. the loss has brought you all together you realize that family is important in life love is much more important than competition or conflict the divine the presence of the divine in your life is more important right now so it can be that the loss has triggered your transformation right now and so you start to become more intuitive you start to become more docile or more receptive to the guidance of the divine and the universe and so what is happening is you are undergoing transformation at the same time the loss has brought a lot of people who you realize who are the people who really care to you and to your family and these people started coming to your aid these are the people also who considered the member of your family that you have lost as somebody very important in their lives also so somehow the loss is bringing all of you together and bringing other people whose lives were touched by your loved one they are coming to your aid right now and are helping you and now you are also wondering whoa i never realized that my loved one has done a lot of good things and now i could see the the fruits of my loved ones my loved one's labor you know uh, I remember of one person who actually a relative of mine who when in when he was still alive he lived a very simple life but when the time came for him to cross to the other side you know, to the other dimension we were surprised that there were a lot of people who visited him and a lot of people who were telling good stories of how he had touch and change their lives and it's like this one also you realize and you are baffled realizing that there were many people that were touched by the life of this loved one that you have lost and you couldn't help but wonder with that so th these are the two things that I could see here in this reading now let us go to the next stage which is the four seasons okay aquarius we are now in the next stage which is the four seasons now the four seasons springtime summer autumn and winter uh sort will sort of uh show before us how this new chapter the one that we can see in the east will slowly develop or unfold itself okay so this is what we can see right that this is what we will try to see right now so for uh springtime we have here the world okay beautiful and then we have here for uh summer the page of wands okay and then we have the ace of cups for autumn and finally for winter the tower moment okay so you see here it's like the beginning uh, a, a chapter has just closed and uh, there is celebration for those of you who have lost a loved one there is celebration because you realize that this loved one has closed a chapter of a very beautiful life it has touched a lot of people a lot of lives and it is now that you are appreciating it so now it's people are acclaiming the good things or the good deeds that your loved one has has done in his his or her past life so uh, there is a certain celebration a certain victory okay now uh, for those of you who are undergoing spiritual transformation no so there is a new chapter that's opening now a chapter or that well before you had undergone spiritual transformation before that you started giving the gifts receiving the gifts you have accomplished a lot of things already that is why this new chapter is opening and uh, there is a celebration you see here immediately there are four uh, for me it's like your spirit guides on you know, the angels 
and your spirit animals they're there right now celebrating for you they're saying welcome you are beginning to here it can symbolize a closing of a race it can also symbolize a beginning of a race no and they are already anticipating that you will win so it's like you know how it is when when the race is about to begin they are already preparing the wreath no so that you can start the race so in a certain sense you are starting a new adventure in your life so it's very much here also uh, the universe will provide you with everything that you need for this new adventure in your life for some of you it can be a physical journey actually the world symbolizes can symbolize a journey to other countries no and here another one the page of wands is ready for that journey in fact there, there is the presence of pyramids so for some of you you are really going on a physical journey now wherever this physical journey will bring you it will lead you to a deeper relationship with the divine and your cup will overflow at the same time here also as you deepen your spiritual journey whether you have lost someone or not it will deepen your relationship with the divine and your cup will overflow and when your cup overflows it will fill up other people uh, other people's lives no? so you will also fill up other people's lives i feel a certain mirroring uh, maybe you will be continuing the legacy that your loved one has left behind he has done a lot of good things or she has done a lot of good things in their life and you are somehow going to continue the legacy so in a certain sense i also feel that some of them will be accompanying you also in this transformation that you are undergoing right now now i'm not surprised i'm not surprised that there will be a tower moment in the end because as you deepen in your spiritual transformation there will be a tower moment there will be a closing of certain relationships that no longer serve you actually they already started here and they are close to each other you see here so when they are close to each other somehow they they, they resonate with each other uh there are certain relationships which where they couldn't go where you are going right now because they have they couldn't understand yet what is happening in you uh, you'll just have to patiently uh, undergo this process that the, there will be some who will be walking away it is just part of your transformation process no uh, the tower moment can also symbolize a loss no so in a certain sense it can be related also to this loss of a loved one now it means also that the loss the sense of loss is not an immediate process even if you are already going under undergoing transformation there will still be moments when you will feel the sense of loss of somebody that you have lost usually it will take some time maybe two years or more even after two years i am my loved one died two years ago and yet still i haven't completely recovered from it so it's a long process so that the pain of the tower moment will still be there even after several months no? so this is just part of the journey towards healing journey towards uh, learning to let go so at the same time for some of you this will also be yeah closing of certain relationships that couldn't join you with you anymore at the same time also this can also symbolize that you realize that there are certain aspects in your life that you need to close already if you are going to continue on your spiritual transformation there are aspects in your life that needs to be closed and i think the universe will be closing it for you okay because here it is the lightning that destroyed the building so the reason why the building was on fire and was destroyed it was destroyed by the universe okay so the universe itself will remove the relationships that no longer help you the universe itself also will close certain situations in your life it's sort of it's good that you realize these things and so you do not attach yourself to these things you realize that your source of consolation and security is slowly going towards the divine the divine will be your source of consolation and security assisted by your spiritual spirit guides so in a certain sense there is a change already in your life wherein the physical things that you found secure some of them will be taken away because you no longer need them in your spiritual transformation so this is what i can see in the four seasons 
we now go to the next level or the next stage which is the uh, messages from the celestial bodies or from the cycles of the moon okay okay aquarius we are now in the fifth stage which is messages from the celestial bodies or messages from the moon okay so we are using the monology manifestation cards and uh, let's try to see what message we can get from the moon okay trust all will be well okay so whatever you are undergoing right now all will be well whatever difficulties you are undergoing as you undergo the spiritual transformation all will be well and sooner or later things will become clearer to you and you will understand why such things are happening so why you're becoming lonely or why you are having these symptoms or why you are sometimes having the lack of consolations you know you're undergoing when that happens you're undergoing already the dark night you no know, we're in your at the start of the spiritual transformation you receive a lot of consolations and you feel a lot of sweetness but as you mature in your spiritual journey all these sweetness are slowly taken away why because the divine is teaching you to seek the presence of the divine even in the absence of sweetness so it's like being weaned from the milk it's like a baby who is being weaned from the milk so that they the baby will receive more nutrition so it's something like that so it's like the same in the spiritual journey you are being taught to rely more on the divine even when there is no consolation okay so just trust and all will be fine trust in the universe okay trust in the divine you see here she's dancing she's dancing before the moon dancing before the divine the presence of the divine she is celebrating her life in the presence of the divine so trust and all will be well trust in the universe at the same time reflect on your priorities yes now that you are undergoing transformation you need to reflect actually you are realizing what are no longer important in your life right now and what are really the essential things for some of you who have lost a special someone, now you realize really what are important in life you know, and who are the people who are really important in your life also. Those people who still join with you even if they couldn't understand what is happening in you in a certain sense. No? So uh, whether you have lost someone or you're undergoing spiritual transformation, you are now right now in this stage. You see here, it's, it's also like following the, the, the seasons. No? Uh, you trust the universe to guide you and you trust that everything will be well even if you're not sure uh, what will happen next no so you trust in the mystery and here you reflect on your priorities you come to a point when at the later stage at uh, a later stage in your journey you realize oh these certain things i need to let go already uh, so somehow it's like sort of having a minimalism <laughs> uh, so minimalistic kind of living already you, you, uh, you know yeah, this is, you, you, you start to uh, declutter your life and already retain what is really essential you know, in your life so you are starting to reflect on your priorities and finally be proud of yourself okay it's learning to love yourself and I feel that as you transform, you, know, you learn to love yourself, including your dark side. You know? I feel that the tower moment is sort of like a wake-up call also to re for you to realize that you, yeah, the essential things in your life right now. And that I feel it's also part of your transformation. You know, it's, it's like uh, weeding out of those things that are no longer important. But at the same time, there are certain aspects in your life that you need to embrace. And I feel that is part of... Uh, shadow work learning to accept those parts that in the past you were ashamed to accept and you are ashamed to to recognize as part of you so you need to have that shadow processing learning to love every aspect in your life both the light and the dark sides in order for you to learn to love yourself being proud of yourself i feel is learning to love yourself I remember that song, uh, learning to love yourself is the greatest gift of all. And I feel it is true because when you start to love yourself, 
it's easy for you to love others too because you are able to accept the dark sides in you and so it's easy for you to accept also the dark sides in other people. You realize that you are no different from them. It teaches you to be humble and it teaches you to be more accepting of the weaknesses also of other people. So this is what I can see in this stage. Now we go to the next stage which is messages from your spirit animals. Okay Aquarius, let us now see what are the spirit animals who are accompanying you right now and what are the messages for you. Okay, the first spirit animal that we encounter is the cat. Wow, okay, independent. Yes, it's true, no? As you undergo spiritual transformation, you rely less on other people and you rely more on the divine. So you are becoming less dependent on people and you are more dependent on the spirit realm, on the universe, on the divine. You are more dependent on God. So in a certain sense, you become independent also. Uh, you are a natural healer, okay? Your intuition is strong, okay? So not only in your intuition, but for some of you, you have, you, are, you have been given the gift of healing, maybe counseling also. You don't have to go with the crowd. Life supports you in every way. Yes, you are like the Queen of Wands. You don't mind being different from the rest which is a sign of strength also. Okay, and then we have here the raven. Okay, the raven usually travels. This is one of those spirit animals that travels between the inner and the outer realm. So uh, somehow it assists you in your contemplation, in your listening to the instructions being given to you by the divine. So shaman, okay, yes, the shaman travels on both realms, the physical and the inner realms. And usually they try to heal people by traveling on this one. So it's the shaman also. So you have the spirit of the shaman also. So in a certain sense, yes, some of you are really healers. You are the creator and magician. So everything you need in the journey is there. You are the magician. Use your gifts for good. There is power in your wisdom and words. Okay, so the messages you receive from the divine and the messages that you share with other people brings a certain wisdom that guides other people also have helps them find answers in their life so connect with the elemental spirits and glide through the void claim your place as keeper of the mysteries okay so as your intuition depends and as you become a keeper of the mysteries you too can become like the raven you can be sort of like an uh, a messenger between the inner world and the outer world so you are able to send messages also you you become a conduit of messages also between the inner realm and the physical realm so for some of you it makes me think that for some of you yeah you can be sort of like messengers of some of spirits no uh, you can yeah be a medium for some of you maybe some of you are being called to be mediums as you deepen your gifts that you have received from the divine okay uh, we have here the loon okay so we have the raven the cat and the loon the loon is again intuitive okay so really it's some it speaks something about your intuition and your gifts clear gifts listen to the song in your soul trust your intuition as you have a way of knowing Emerge from the busy life and seek more solitude. Recognize that you are unique and that you are loved. I think you are beginning to have that feeling. You know that you are loved by the universe. You are becoming more intuitive. And I think you are drawn to more now towards solitude, just like the Knight of Cups who spends more time. You see him, he's riding the horse. I think he's riding the horse in the prairie and... Uh, Makes me think of the song, uh, that movie, uh, that movie series, Little House on the Prairie. No? And he spends more time alone in, in contemplation. Okay. Hmm. Little House on the Prairie. I don't know. It suddenly came to me. If it resonates with you, there must be something here for you. Hawk Messenger. 
Okay, so we have the loon, the hawk, the raven. You have a lot of flying, uh, flying spirit animals accompanying you right now. Okay, it just flew. Okay, oh, it says here, messenger. Again, messenger. Spirit is sending you messages. Open your greater vision to see the signs. Focus on priorities and eliminate distractions. Okay, so another clarification of the priorities. You try to remove distractions and just prioritize. Uh, focus on the priorities, the important thing. So yes, uh, somehow focusing on reflecting and focusing on your priorities is also withdrawing yourself from the madding crowds. Very interesting. They clarified it a little bit more. Okay. You have a bright future. Let yourself ascend <clears throat> to new heights. Okay. So you're really undergoing spiritual transformation right now. Whatever your situation is right now, you are undergoing spiritual transformation. So enjoy the journey. Enjoy it breathlessly. Okay. Now, <clears throat> let us go to the next stage, the final stage, which is messages from two of your spirit plants. Okay, Aquarius, we are in the final stage, which is a message from two of your spirit plants. Okay, let us try to see who your spirit plants are. Okay, so the first spirit plant that we have here is strawberry. Okay, agreement. Yeah, I think you are developing the skills of negotiations, no? and you are able to lead people into agreement. I think also there is a coming together of people you love, yeah, due to the loss. No, so there is a the gift of agreement. Strawberry, no, you know, the strawberry has many eyes in just one plant. No, it's like many members of the family coming together into one. No, agreement. Finally, we have here, uh, apple. Continue once. Okay, continue the legacy. I think your loved one who had passed away has left a very good legacy and people are coming to recognize that legacy. Continue that legacy. Uh, you are the legacy of your loved ones because you are, you notice, like for example, uh, there are certain things that your loved one used to do that as you grow older, you will find yourself doing. Like for example, uh, my father, uh, he likes to, every breakfast, he would like to take coffee and butter and bread. You know? And then one time, my colleagues were telling me, hey, you always take coffee and butter and bread. You should take something more, they said. Then I realized, I'm becoming my father. Okay, <laughs> we are the legacy. We are the legacy of our parents. We are the legacy of our loved ones. There are certain beauty in our loved ones who have passed to the other side that we retain and people see it in us. And when they look at us, they are reminded of the beautiful memories that they've had of our loved ones. So continue once, continue the legacy. And this is the apple. Oh, well, for those of you who are, an apple a day keeps a doctor away. Maybe you need to take care of your health right now also, okay? So uh, continue the legacy and continue the journey, okay? Continue the journey. Be the messenger of the divine for other people. Okay, so this is what we have for you right now, Aquarius. I hope it has been a fruitful reading for you. And uh, I hope it has given you what you need right now in your present journey. Thank you for the likes and the comments you've given to the channel. If you feel this will help somebody, don't hesitate to share it with them. Thank you for subscribing, and I look forward to seeing you again. Until next time, may God continue to bless your ways.